So this is going to be a quick video on your flashy mileage and what to do. I appreciate YouTube has got a number of videos on it and Love 500 does a very in-depth video on it. But this is going to be a very quick video on your flashing mileage and how to sort it. So, as you can see, we have the flashing mileage. And when we also, bear with me, when we also click on the Windows button here, we do not get the Bluetooth coming up either. So we don't have the woman asking us to either pair or asking us what to do. So therefore, the chances are that the Bluetooth module is not working. So there's going to be two reasons for that, and I'm just going to quickly go through them. So number one, so what 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 the issue is is that the Bluetooth module is not uh, paired with the um, the body, the computer, the ECU, whatever you want to call it, within uh, the car, and therefore, um, and that will be down for two reasons. One is, is it's just miscommunicating, or number two, it's faulty. So we're going to sort that out. So first off, and my first cheap and free method of sorting it, or attempting to sort it, and on a couple of occasions it's worked, is that you go to um, the battery on the car. And the first thing you do is you take off the negative off the battery and wait 10 minutes. So you're going to wait 10 minutes and then in 10 minutes time put that negative back on the terminal again and then go back to the ignition, turn on the ignition or the engine, whatever you want to do. And when you're back in there, make sure the door's shut as well. And see if that is flashing. If it's not flashing, all that's happened is that they just disconnected from each other and it just required a reset. By removing the battery lead, um, technically what the car does is it, it, it sort of re-communicates with all its various modules and sometimes you get on the odd occasion a disconnection and that is your free um your free way of determining whether or not you have a bluetooth module temporary issue or you have a permanent issue so that's step number one and we are now going to go on to step number two Right, so number two is the one that's going to end up costing you uh, time and money. And we need to get to the Bluetooth module. Now, the Bluetooth module is going to be, depending, if you're in the UK, well, basically, it's passenger side. It's behind here. So you've got to remove uh, the seat and the trim, the, the seat belt, all the seat belt up here, behind here, trim here, trim there. Um, you could possibly leave these in. I've done it with, with leaving the back seat in. And about here is the Bluetooth module, and we need to get to that. Um, so you're going to need a number of different sized sockets and... Uh, when uh, we've got that, I will go on to what you need to do. So that's where it's located and you just need to get the rivets out. Uh, normally with a, a drill. And then it just unplugs and then you can swap them over or send it for uh, 
send it through a pair. So when you've removed all of the trim from the car, you'll be faced with this. And then all you've got to do is send it off. Um, there's companies on eBay, if you search for them, that they'll be able to uh, repair it for about 95 to £100. Pounds. Uh, I'm not 100% sure really what they do, and if I did, I'd be uh, very happy, but it's possible it needs cleaning, and that's one of the sort of suggestions. Um, but yeah, so wait about a week and you'll get it back, and then just simply reattach it back to the car again. Um, and I'll show you uh, when it's all back in and when uh, and when you can test it. Right, so when we fast forward on now a couple of days, the um, as I say, that's all put back in. Everything is reattached, and but the only thing I'd say is before you put all of this back, you test it out. And all you've got to do, I know it sounds stupid when I say it, but put the ignition on. We'll get rid of the radio. And we hit the button. And hopefully it comes on. That's all you got to do. Searching for connection. Try again later. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that. And that's it. However, the only thing I'll say is you will get the flashing mileage coming up. And you potentially still have to do a proxy alignment. Which is going to be the slight issue that you'll have. Um, and... I use a laptop with multi-ECU scan, which is a piece of software and a cable that plugs into the diagnostic port, which is behind this cover here. And it will do a proxy alignment and it will stop the mileage from flashing. Um, if you go on the Fiat forum, there is a list of people who have this software and they potentially can do it for free. So, yeah. Um... That's unfortunately, as I say, with getting the Bluetooth module um, repaired, that's going to set you back just under 100. And then, as I say, it doesn't 100% uh, sort the problem until you deal with the flashing mileage and connect a laptop up to sort that out. Um, so it's not an easy fix, but hopefully... Uh, this video does make a bit of sense about the Fiat 500 and the Bluetooth module. Um, and I think that concludes today's educational video. Um, I'll put a couple of links in the description below for multi-ECU scan. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be it. So uh, I hope this was of some use to you. And... Uh, Subscribe to my channel for some more random other videos on the Fiat 500. Until next time, see you all later.